Welcome to the Ballet Science Podcast, where we bring science into the studio to help dancers of all ages and abilities give their best performance both on stage and off. I'm Caroline Simpkins, a former ballerina turned researcher, and in this premiere episode, I will share the story of how I went from point shoes to PhD. I trained seriously in classical ballet as a child and teenager. Then after I graduated high school, I joined a professional ballet company where I danced for seven seasons and performed a wide variety of classical and contemporary roles. After leaving the company, I also spent about another five years doing freelance work as a professional ballerina. In addition to my experience as a dancer, I have about 15 years of experience teaching ballet for all ages and levels. I have taught the full spectrum of student from pre-ballet at age three and four to advanced elite level ballet and even ballet for adults. Another thing that I really enjoyed doing as a ballet teacher was coaching many of my students for ballet competitions such as Youth America Grand Prix and Universal Ballet Competition. My academic background intersects with my ballet career as I pursued an undergraduate degree in exercise science while dancing and performing with a professional ballet company. After graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, I took some time off to figure out what I wanted to do next. For a while, I thought I wanted to become a physical therapist, but I ultimately decided that I was more interested in the research behind physical therapy than in the day-to-day clinical work. So after a long and winding road, I ended up pursuing a master's degree in exercise science and continued on to earn a PhD in kinesiology, concentrating in biomechanics. While I was a PhD student, I worked in a biomechanics lab where our primary research focus was fall prevention. So with my unique background in ballet, both as a dancer and a teacher, I decided to approach fall prevention research from a dance perspective, and I focused my dissertation project on how ballet can prevent falls in older adults who take ballet classes. A lot of my ballet research has already been published in peer-reviewed scientific journals and presented at national and international research conferences, so I will be sharing some of my research with you in future episodes right here on this podcast. So what is the Ballet Science Podcast? Now that I have a PhD and am well-equipped to conduct my own research and interpret the research of others, I wanted to launch a new podcast to help spread the word about all the amazing work happening in the field of ballet science every day. The format of this podcast will vary a bit from week to week. Sometimes I will share my own research. Sometimes I will discuss the research of other scientists. And at times I will invite guests to join me here, many of whom are former dancers turned scientists like myself. Well, thank you for joining me today for this introductory episode of the Ballet Science Podcast. Whether you're a dancer, teacher, student, or simply curious about the mechanics behind movement, I appreciate you being here today. Each week, we will explore the intersection of science and ballet, from injury prevention and biomechanics to nutrition, mindset, and everything in between. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the follow button, leave a review, and share it with your friends and dance community. You can also follow Ballet Science on social media and visit our website, ballet.science, for additional information. Thank you again for tuning in, and see you next time on the Ballet Science Podcast.